Welcome to the next video in our WordPress walkthrough series. I'm Mick and I'm showing you step by step how to make this website. In our last video, we went over how to set up a blog and publish posts. In this video, we'll add a photo gallery. Let's start by going to the plugins section in the dashboard. Plugins are really powerful tools that let you expand the capability of your website without having to know a lot of code or anything. They're basically prepackaged bits of code for you. So to add a photo gallery, we're going to add a new photo gallery plugin. Click Add New and we'll search for the one we want. For this example, we'll use a popular plugin called NextGen Gallery. So I'll search NextGen and see what comes up. Here it is. I'll just click Install Now. Then I just need to activate it to turn it on. Perfect. On the left hand side you'll notice we have a new option available to us. Gallery. This is where we're going to go to add our photos. Then once they're in there we can tell our website where to display them. In the gallery tool click add gallery slash images. You can create several galleries. We'll make the first gallery hold a series of nature shots. Then we'll select the photos we want to add and upload them. This plugin is great. It does all the work for me. It uploads all the images, makes sure they all fit and are proportioned correctly, and even creates thumbnails. When it's done, we get an upload complete notification here. Now let's add a couple more galleries. In this drop down menu, we want to create a new gallery. So I'll select and then call this one Action Shots. Then I'll add and upload the files like we did before. There we go. Now, let's add one more gallery. OK. So now we have all our photos uploaded and they're in their individual galleries. Once you have your galleries, you can rename them, reorder them, get them all ready to go. The next step, though, is finding a place to put them. So we're going to go back to our dashboard and make a new page. This is a place to put our photos. And since this is a photography website, I actually think gallery is a good title. In the toolbar, you'll notice this tool popped up once we activated the gallery plugin. We'll click that, and now we have some options. First, it asks us how we want our photo galleries displayed. I think the slideshow is going to work well. In the next tab, I decide what I want to display. We'll use galleries as the source, and then in this drop down menu, are all the galleries we just created. We'll start with the first one, Nature, and click Save. In my page, I can see a thumbnail of the first image in that slideshow gallery. Awesome. I want to give this gallery a title. So I'm just going to add some text above it that says Nature, and I'll bold and center that. Perfect. Now I want to add the other galleries to this page. So I'll just enter down a bit, then click my gallery tool again and follow the same process. Once we're done, we'll have all three galleries in the page. Let's click publish and check if everything looks good on the website. Yep, there they are. That looks great, except for one thing. I don't really want a comments field on it. So I'm going to go quickly back to my dashboard click Pages and click on the Quick Edit option for my gallery page. I'll deselect the Allow Comments option to turn those off and click Update. OK, let's take a look. Ah, much better. Comments are gone. So that's it. Now we have a gallery page on our website to feature a bunch of gorgeous photography. In the next video, we'll add a document to our website. We'll see you there.